Hello everybody, this is Nick Nevin, and I'm giving an extra reading this month for the supermoon that lands on November 14th and how it relates to each of the elements. And this is for the elemental signs Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, the water signs. And this reading is a little different. I'm using um, my charm ring and I'm using my crystal ball. And you probably won't see images. Um, I received the message from my spirit guide and let's just um, let's just ask let me just ask with the pendulum for my guide to come through and to start giving the message and as I wait for him to come through I'm just calling him psychically um, you can notice the center I have a ring of charms and uh, I'll be starting out the, the reading by picking out, here he is, he's here. He starts saying yes when he's here, okay. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'll pick out one of the charms off of the ring and I have the cross representing spirit and the heart which represents, of course, emotions and love. The key, keys unlike unlock and lock um it, he also represents knowledge and uh, the ring which represents commitments also uh, your place in the world of work and career and the key uh, the lock is the key in the lock what we want to keep hidden and an anchor uh, what are we anchoring ourselves to? So, um, what are we uh, ground? Where are we grounding? So, what I do with these rings, I make these rings just as a way to set off, you know, a uh, crystal ball reading to know oh, what direction we're going in. And I'm not looking at it right now. And I'll just um, hit on one of the, the charms, and that's what the focus is. So we have the anchor, the anchor, which um, actually makes a lot of sense. Um, the anchor is, um, okay, we use an anchor in the water, right? So it's about... Uh, anchoring our emotions what we're we're hooking our emotions onto it's about grounding and it fits very well with the sign um, of Taurus because the supermoon will be um, in Taurus a Taurus full moon supermoon on November 14th so Taurus are very earthy of course earth element and grounded so this connects very well with the water signs and the earth you know earth grounding the water signs so it's very significant that we got the the anchor so let's see what what the crystal ball has to say about this now you probably won't see images like i said um, i'm getting psychic messages um, partly through the charging of the ball, um, the spirit of the ball that I call forth, and sometimes he, it's a masculine energy, um, not somebody that lived, it's not a, a spirit that lived as a human being, but a spirit nonetheless that is alive, and this is sort of a power ball mostly. I don't do a lot of divination on this ball. It's really as an energy ball. So he's getting powered up and he starts to really light up when he's I'm, I'm charging up and then 
he actually gives me psychic energy and charges me. So um, it's a power ball in my eyes, but I can do uh, general readings with it. And so I'm asking now just what's happening for the water signs for November 14th. What is the meaning of this full super moon to us? Uh, I'm a water sign as well. So what is the meaning for us water signs? Okay, what am I getting here? Uh, I get the message of a bell sounding, a bell sounding, uh, an alarm if you will, uh, something calling to our attention in this full moon, something wants our attention, there's something we need to take uh, notice of. I'm getting um, change, change, and I'm seeing a key, which uh, means unlocking a door, unlocking some secrets, some secrets to in relation to the anchoring, right? The anchoring of our emotions. So we're unlocking some secrets. Um, we're finding out where we want to be grounded, what we want to be hooking ourselves to now. In this full moon, we have an opportunity, a window opening for us, a place of grounding that we can, you know, there's a sense of homeland here, homeland, a place, a window of opportunity where we're we're able to change and feel a divine connection, feel very grounded in what we're doing, feeling um, there's a coming home in a sense here, coming home to what we once were. There's also a gift, this opening up, a gift of some kind of knowledge knowledge that is going to question question the foundations question the foundations of your life of your direction of your moral values you want to not only are you strategically planning you want to how do I say this? You want to you want to tell the people around you now. This is uh, it's not a new me. This is a coming home to self. And it's about, you know, okay, I want a relationship, but I'm telling you now, I want commitment, a, a lifelong relationship, you know, if it's in the realm of emotions and relationship, you're saying, I want commitment now, and if it's to yourself, it's about committing to self and, and centering and anchoring to who you used to be, becoming more of that becoming more of the self and actually seeing, seeing, you know, the true self, getting down to the bones of matters. The gift here is in manifesting this, this old self. Um, but rescuing the old self from the pain from the past. There's a sort of rescue going on, rescuing the self into a beautiful, warm place in the sun, you know, um, aligning. And there's a sense of aligning with the stars here, aligning with your strength and power and, and there's this, you know, 
raging sensuality and creativity within that this very sensual creativeness going on here too um and it's like an awakening up of things that were long dormant inside you and having this fierce direction and powerful emotions coming through and and just dancing to you know the beat of your own drum now and look at this like star like stars you know the shooting star um, I'm saying psychic lights you know like major epiphanies coming through, major insights into the self, into the delving of, you know, your soul, coming to a new place, forming a new, like, oh, wow, it's like a magician here, like you're able to do things magically, and You know, it's like sleight of hand, you know, people don't even recognize what's, uh, you know, who is this anymore? Who are you? I don't even recognize you and you're just making things happen for yourself now and, and having this gift, this power and, and giving back. There's a sense of giving back here too, giving back to the world and, and really I feel this dance going on it's like this magnetic seductive trance the water signs are putting other people in on, on November 14th and the two days before and the two days after you're, you're working magic working magic absolute magic going on and power and creativity and uh, looking to the stars for answers, looking uh, beyond this plane for your truth, for your answers, um, feeling major empowerment, major strength, major force, determination and focus like never before. It's truly beautiful wonderful wonderful vibe I'm getting and okay what I, I'm losing track of my focus because I'm feeling all this energy that's so powerful getting back to the anchor it's like you you know you put the anchor in the water but the spirit soars so you feel very grounded and centered at this time but your spirit's flying and, and it's taking off in new directions and things are finally manifesting in your direction and, and feeling a sense of coming home to self and you know like I always knew you were in there <laughs> I always had that spirit and and I found it again. I found the old me, you know, it's it's beautiful. I found I found who who I used to be. And and, and I appreciate it now. I, I, I see my uniqueness. I see my power in that uniqueness. Okay? And the the um, yeah, it's it's like sky's the limits here and this this super moon came in um, in a powerful way in the in a Taurus the bull and it's you know it's one of those powerful signs and and it's aligning with our, our water and and it's giving us this real vibrancy about us and real um, security and safety as well and, and exploring other realms and exploring um, 
you know, just uh, different things that you like to do and exploring knowledge, opening up doors, doors open, you know, like that's what I'm seeing, like doors fly open suddenly and there's new paths everywhere and it's almost hard to make a decision. But it, it's uh, a great, great, great sense and being. This, this, this Taurus um, super moon is really in, in line with us and in, in helping us to to appreciate and accept who we are. You know, it's really oh, the symbol, the eyes, you know. We have this knowledge and we're seeing opening up to other, I really feel other dimensions and that can mean, you know, literally other dimensions in the world, but it can also be other dimensions unknown, what's unknown to us. And, um, it just really feels very magical, magical time for us. And take it by both hands and appreciate, appreciate this time. Very beautiful. And I hope that this little reading was um, was uh, important for you. And um, yeah, have a, a wonderful um, full moon, <laughs> super moon. Bye-bye, everyone.